Microsoft just unveiled new changes coming to the Xbox dashboard, and it's more than skin deep. Another day in August, and we're getting more news from the Microsoft camp about some changes that are going to be coming to the Xbox experience. Now, this one branches a little bit more outside than, say, just the Xbox console hardware, but Microsoft is announcing today some changes that are coming to the dashboard that are going to impact the UI and performance. So let's just dive into it, shall we? So Microsoft started showing off the new Xbox dashboard here. Now, you might be saying, hey, this doesn't look all that different than some of the things we've seen in the past. Well, now it's all official and real, and there are some minor changes that you will notice just throughout some of the screenshots that I'm going to be showing, including rounded corners. So if you don't like rounded corners, you're probably not going to be liking the new dashboard. But right off the bat, you can see all your games front and center. They're nice and easy to read. And um, in the bottom right corner, depending on how you feel about life, uh, that is considered an ad, right? Microsoft pushing the Elite Series 2. But Either way, here you go. You can take a first look at some of the new dashboard. Now, along with some of the UI changes, Microsoft is saying that this is going to be up to 50% faster, that they have made some significant optimizations to the dashboard. You're going to be getting in and out of games 50% faster, just navigating around the dashboard and the home screens and the stores and all that stuff is just going to be better which is good. Now here's the flyout window where you can do your, you know, add your friend or add your friends, talk to your friends, jump in and out of chat rooms and that sort of stuff. Check on games that are downloading. It's just a nice, simple, clean little flyout here. Just again, minor changes, nothing too overly crazy or over the top that Microsoft has done, but you can see the iconography down at the bottom there that they are going to be using. Now, personally, it kind of reminds me of some of the Metro icons that Microsoft used back in Windows 8 days. Obviously not exactly the same, but their idea here was faster, easier to use, and there was a lot of focus on text improvements to make things easier to read, especially at distance, because again, a lot of people aren't right up on their screen. They're pretty far back. Like myself, I sit about 12 feet away from my screen. And so being able to have nice, crisp, crisp clear text is uh well nice and of course for fans like myself who like the white theme instead of the dark theme this is also coming as well no big surprise there microsoft has been so supporting light and dark themes across many of its products now and so yeah you can kind of just bounce back and forth and see how those two look now there's also additional changes here coming to the mobile experience microsoft is talking holistically about all of the changes that are coming here this is the xbox mobile app on an unspecified phone i'm guessing it's probably some sort of android actually it's probably just a generic mock-up phone but you can see, again, how they are going to be using rounded edges, a little bit softer of experience, not, not no hard edges, and a little bit of a toggle or sort of a slider-looking mechanism on the social side to move between friends and chat and all that stuff. And again, you can see the updated iconography down along the bottom. And so that's sort of the basis of the new uh, Xbox dashboard experience. One thing I don't have on here, but we've talked about it before, is Microsoft has shown off the new store that is going to be coming alongside this as well. And so, yeah. I mean, take a look. I'd love to know if you guys like this look. I personally think it looks a lot better, but despite, you know, I'm not worried about the looks. All I care about is the performance and that 50% faster. And they're also saying 40% less memory is using. That's probably in relation to how they got the speed improvements. And again, there's also new sharing experiences coming. Now we all know that the new controller, which I've shown a lot here on this uh, channel, is it going to have a dedicated share button? That's not a surprise. Microsoft announced that, talked about it. But one of the nice things that they're talking about now is they're going to make it faster um, to get it onto your phone. One of the problems right now is you you hit the Xbox button, you hit X to record a video, and then it has to upload, it has to do a whole bunch of just crazy stuff on the background, and then it eventually makes its way to the Xbox on your phone. The Xbox app, I should say, it takes a while. Honestly, sometimes it takes days in my experience. Microsoft is promising that that is going to be improved and that when you start to, to capture that stuff, it's going to show up on your phone it can't be nearly it can't be instant but it's going to be much much faster because they finally realize which we've all known for a long time that most people do their social sharing from their phone not from their console because it's just an awkward experience so i'm really really excited that that is going to be improved because i capture a lot of warzone clips especially when my friends do dumb stuff um, like shooting rpgs at walls right next to them it's it's fun to share that and be able to you know make fun of your friends and just have a good time in general with warzone and all the other sharing content so there you go this is sort of 
sort of your first look at what Microsoft is going to be doing. I personally think that this is definitely a step in the right direction. Obviously, we're going to be waiting until this is all pushed out and we get our full hands on it, make sure there's no bugs and make sure everything else. But from a, a top level look, we're getting faster UI, we're getting faster everything else, less memory. And there's one other thing I want to point out here. Microsoft showed off during their video. I really like the transitions that Microsoft is doing in their videos. I know this is like a subtle thing, but look at these. This is, I believe, a brand new transition Microsoft is now using to go in between segments in different videos. But they have been doing a lot of this stuff, a lot of this stuff. And I, I personally think that this is just kind of neat. It's just another look at the inside of the Xbox doing it a little bit of an exploded view. And they use this to transition between some of the dashboard stuff and to back to people speaking. And um, I, I don't know. I think Microsoft is doing a good job on, their, on, on this sort of front. Google, candidly, does like some of the best animations for Google I.O. And Microsoft is clearly picking up that, hey, people like these animations, such as myself. And they're now you know, integrating them into all of their experiences. And the Xbox team, I think, is doing an exceptional job of doing that on their end. And so there you go, guys. That is the new Xbox dashboard with the light and dark theme, the new mobile experience. Microsoft is really like, I keep using the word holistic, but that's how they were talking about it. They want the PC, the Xbox and mobile experiences all to feel basically the same, which I think is a good thing. And so we have to wait for all this stuff to roll out. But given that the consoles are going to be in consoles, plural, uh, are going to be coming out uh, in November. November, it looks like we shouldn't have to be waiting too long, and I gotta tell you, I'm pretty pumped.